Welcome to the ACI Scholarly Blog Index, a collection of academic and research blogs from scholars and thought leaders in all fields of study. Whether you're seeking resources for an upcoming assignment or just wanted to check out the scholars and thought leaders in the subject you're majoring in, ACI makes it easy for you to find scholarly blogs in any academic discipline. A search in ACI not only gives you comprehensive information about a blog's content and that author's academic credentials and affiliations, but it also provides other valuable information too, such as the Library of Congress classifications that best describe the content of a particular blog. The Library of Congress classification is the subject classification that academic, research, and other institutions most often use to categorize available resources by topic or content focus. Managed by the Library of Congress, LC classes include both broad subject headings as well as narrowed subject headings for subtopics that fall under those broader categories. Most college and university libraries use these LC classes because it helps them to develop and maintain systematically organized collections of content. So, for example, if you ever need a print book in your university library on the overall topic of general science, your library call number, which organizes the library's resources but also helps you to locate them, probably begins with a Q because Q is the LC classification for the subject of general science. General law books would start with a K, general medicine would start with an R, and so on. In addition, each primary class also has subclasses. For example, clicking on the main Q class, or science, shows us the possible LC classes that would fall under science for various areas, such as QH for biology, or QC for physics. Clicking on the B class, or the Philosophy, Psychology, and Religion class, tells us that B is the LC class for Philosophy, BF is the class for Psychology, and BJ is the class for Ethics. And, of course, some categories aren't quite as cut and dried. For example, the subjects of Oceanography and Environmental Science actually fall under G rather than Q. Because ACI uses the same Library of Congress classifications when indexing blogs, it works the same way in ACI. When you find a relevant blog post in an ACI search, you'll notice that an LC class section in the upper right corner displays the Library of Congress classifications most relevant to that blog's content. For example, this blog, which is called Science and Public, is assigned the LC class of Q. This is because Q represents the subject of science, and the main subject in this blog is the general topic of science. Because many blogs in ACI cover more than one subject, up to three LC classes may be assigned to one blog. For example, the primary subjects of this blog are science and education, so the ACI entry for this blog includes both Q for science and L for education allowing someone who's searching science for education or for science and education to find this blog. The Library of Congress subject headings are valuable in many ways. For example, you can click on any LC class to see all blog posts in ACI that were assigned that class as a primary subject. An LC class also helps researchers like you know that a blog is actually a blog about science rather than, say, a blog about medieval poetry that mentions science in a post. You can even browse ACI by LC classification by typing in the LC classification name in the ACI search field and then selecting the desired LC class from the options that display beneath the search box. But one of the most valuable uses of the LC classification is on the search results page. When you run a search in ACI, there are many facet filtering options on the left-hand side, such as LC class, author's degree, institution, and many others. Clicking on any of these will limit your results to that particular facet, and you can just click again to remove the filter and return to your previous search. In this example search for the keyword of calcium, our results span a number of disciplines. But if you're researching calcium for your oceanography course, clicking on the LC class of GC, or oceanography, will limit your calcium results to only those whose publications include oceanography as a primary topic. 
In addition, you can apply more than one facet and in any combination. So, for example, we can click on PhD, author name, or any other facet on top of the oceanography facet and further refine these search results. Explore LC classes in ACI today and find out just how useful they can be to your research. To get started, just visit scholar.aci.info or your university's custom ACI portal, where you'll find many tips to help you in your search for the most authoritative blog content for your academic studies.